Hey, okay, good morning, good afternoon, guys. Um, it's day four. I just got to work. I woke up late. I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't do my tea last night. I was so tired. Like, I just ate dinner and went to sleep. Like, I couldn't even do it. But, um, I just about to eat some leftover pasta. Got mushrooms, garlic, green onion, all that good stuff in there. Okra. Zucchini, and celery sauce. I forgot my vinaigrette for my salad, but I got a banana. Um, so my, my salad got dried cranberries, onions, um, sunflower seeds, green onion, and zucchini. In there. And I probably just use some type of um, stuff my mom got up in there. I have my lemon water, and I'm also going to do my tea. I brought my stuff with me to make my tea. It's my slippery L. My marshmallow roots. So, I'm gonna do that. And I brought my bottle of water with me. I don't know what kind of water this is. It says spring water. I got it from all these things. I'm going to get out the faucet. You feel me? Or nothing too, too crazy. So yeah, this is what I'm about to eat. Probably gonna start with my banana and my tea and then work my way to my salad and then this while I was still in the middle of taking care of my grandma and everything. Day four so far so good. Everything is still going regular. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm digging that. I'm not having complications where my stomach is hurting or I gotta like drink milk or run a hot shower, or drink a bunch of water, or use a stool and my feeder, none of that anymore. Like is really helping like everything like like um for some reason my cycle is back heavy again like this thing is tweaking that's why i'm like i really don't know like if it's my sis popping or if this is a real period because even when i was talking to my friend they were like dang wasn't you just on your cycle and i'm like yeah like two weeks ago it was just on now i'm back on like i wasn't even supposed to be coming on until like about the 19th 21st and i came on on what was it like the 9th or the 10th but also again every three months like ever since i was a little girl my cycles every three months switch up on their own on top of when i was on birth control which i stopped taking birth control back when i was like 19, 18 or something like that. It was messing up my body real bad and I would either have no cycles for months or I would spot randomly for like months like to where I felt uncomfortable to go anywhere and I was so embarrassed and so uncomfortable about it. But the man I was with, he like understood and tried to cope and deal with it the best I could. Like, so I would sit there and I would just cry like, like, I can't do anything. Like, I can't be intimate. I can't like, go anywhere. I can't be free and wear what I want to wear because I never know, like, what my body is going to do or how it's going to affect me or, like, far as, like, headaches, cramps, muscle spasms, like, throwing up. Like, my cycles are, like, crazy. Like, they really have a mind of their own. So, which is always a plus. So, I'm going to go ahead and chow down on this. I'm going to go make some edits on my phone because my camera memory is messing up again. And I'll get back with y'all a little later and tell y'all how the rest of day four is going with no heat. All right, ciao.
Then I'm recording. Fuck you. Leave this bitch. Done. Leave. 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 My picture yeah, didn't come out right, so fuck it. And I was trying to take a picture with the napkin in my hand. My friend ain't even tell me. It turned into a video. Look at my baby mama. She's so fine, y'all. She ain't even swell. She's just still fine. Look at her. Ooh, look at that. My little yellow bone. Good morning YouTube this is I am Nubian with Nubian Customs and today I'm coming to y'all with a quick little breakfast that you can do if you have fresh strawberries because you know how strawberries go bad really quick so right here I have in my ninja bullet about like eight nine strawberries cut in half and I just put it in there there's nothing else in there with it um, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of this sometimes I do put it in my smoothie but it gets stuck to that and being that I'm running kind of low, I want to get all of my hemp oil that I can get. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of this. And to um, our strawberries, we're going to add almond milk. I have the original almond milk. I'm going to put some of my slippery elm in there because the last two days I have not took this. So I need to do my slippery elm. We have cinnamon. Nutmeg vanilla and honey and we're just gonna blend all that up it's gonna have a really really sweet taste um i never did it with just strawberries before normally when i would do this i would do it with um mixed berries and peaches and a banana and still add these things to it but today i'm just doing it with only the strawberries so It'll come out really, really good. And I'm probably just going to fry me an egg. Because even though I'm doing this vegan stuff, I feel like eggs aren't that bad. It's not like I'm eating actual chicken. And I haven't really been craving meat like that. Last night, I finally did eat some type of meat, which was um, some red lobster. I had an Atmos feast, but I didn't eat the clams. I got a lobster tail instead of eating the clams. And my friend ate the clams for me. And I had scallops and shrimp. So, um, and my stomach didn't, you know, do anything crazy or anything like that. I was actually kind of full. And the only reason why I did that is because I decided to drink last night. Since it has been a full week, I did Saturday to Saturday. No alcohol. Um, I'm feeling like I'm coming down with a sore throat due to, um, I have been smoking cigarettes. And the weather here is switching back and forth because it is springtime. So, my allergies are flaring up. So I'm struggling with that, but other than that, um, so far so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry my eggs. I'm gonna use some of those mixed peppers that you see me buy, and probably put it in there, and put it on top of a bagel and just eat a smoothie and bagel, pair with a banana. Um, the last other couple of days, I just been eating salad, pretty much for the most part. Um. I might eat a peanut butter and jelly here and there and, and fruit. Like, I really haven't been craving any meat, for real, for real. And I'll probably start back with my waist trainer and um, exercising so I don't lose my muscle and everything in my butt and my legs. And, um, and also that will help with my endometriosis and PCOS as well. So if you like this recipe... It's quick, easy, on-the-go breakfast. Um, kids can have it. Even if you um, don't want to give them the hemp oil, you can do a avocado oil or a cashew oil or something for them. That's still um, beneficial for, you know, detox purposes and nutrient purposes. So, you can do coconut, avocado, um, virgin olive oil. You can do... Um, you can do a fish oil capsule and just put it in there even still like you know instead of if you don't want to do the hemp for your kids but I just thought that I would share this with you guys on my newbie natural journey so 
Like, share, comment, subscribe if you have any on-the-go breakfast ideas as far as fruit that goes bad really fast. Go ahead and um, drop a comment below and let me know. I'll go ahead and try it or do a video on it. Alright, thank you. Ciao. Okay, this is how it came out. Just blended up strawberries with the milk. Um... I just added, I tasted it, and for me, for my liking, I just added more vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. But it's up to you and your preference of what you like. I'm going to go ahead and set this in the freezer while I make my eggs so that way it can um, get more of a smoothie texture. And I'll put it all the way in the back behind something that way it's up against the wall. Or sometimes I wrap a um, cold paper, like a wet paper towel around it so that way it can freeze faster. Um, also... Almond milk stays good. It has a date that comes on here, but please remember to write the actual date that you opened this because it goes by the date that you actually opened it. You know what I'm saying? Don't go by just this up here because I had to read the back of this because when I first started buying this milk, I only used to buy it for my baths. I really wasn't drinking it like that because I wasn't a fan of it. I really don't drink milk like that anyways, but yeah just always remember to write the date so today's date is may 19th so i'll just put 519 on here and i'll stay good for two weeks after today's date so and that's how i buy that and it's really cheap at aldi's which is another thing like i love this milk and it doesn't have me all sick and stuff so yeah just add more cinnamon stuff to your liking and then boom breakfast complete Right on cue, the freezer is blowing, so I just wetted that paper towel and then stuck it all the way on the floor. Water bottles like this, and it'll start freezing. Oh, that cold air. So now I'm just about to um do my hemp oil. And I'm just trying to do this in a way that I can show y'all what I do. And it's just that slippery elm on there. It's nothing crazy. Mm. I spilled a little bit, but I'm just going to take that. Then if you got it on your counter or anything, you can just take it. And I'm about to just rub this in my hair. Like, you can use it on literally everything. So I'm just going to take this and rub it on my scalp. And that way I can use it all up. It's a light green color. It has no taste. Really. But. Yeah, I'm about to just rub this in my hair. Being that I washed it yesterday anyways. And. I got all my hemp oil. Moving on to the other part of my breakfast. I'm sorry, this video is so good at you guys. Like, I'm rearranging my house. So my kitchen's a little messed up. So. Whatever. I have mushrooms, peppers, garlic, green onion. I have some regular table salt. I actually have pink Himalayan salt, but I use that for clearing my crystals or for my bath purposes and things like that. I really don't use it on my food. However, I still use pink Himalayan salt, but I just like this better for my food. Um, we have cayenne pepper, my fave, black pepper, and cumin seeds. Love this stuff. I want to start incorporating turmeric into my food, but I really don't, never really tasted it on my food. I used to use turmeric for masks and things like that. Then over here, we just have our everything bagels and our cage-free eggs. Also, I still didn't open up these. I'm going to try these today, too. I probably, um crush some up on top of my smoothie to give it some you know crunch to my smoothie because I kind of like it. my smoothie has a little texture to it I don't know just weird like that but yes I love everything bagels really good in fiber you get all your seeds and nuts and all that type of shit so yeah we're just gonna chop up these peppers garlic and all of that and just fry an egg I got my oven on for 100, just butter your bagel and then throw that in there for like about 5-10 minutes and it's done. Um, if I do do a cheese, I'm going to do a, um, one slice of Kobe Jack cheese and that's it. 
Also, in that last segment, when you see me wipe my counter, make sure that your counter is clean for you to do that. I know my counter is clean. That's why I went ahead and rubbed it in my hair because I didn't want to waste any of the hemp oil. Um, and it was something else that I wanted to say to y'all and I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, about my cycles, y'all. Like, oh, my God. So, I'm supposed to be off today. But for some reason, it's like uber heavy but remember in the beginning I was like it was struggling to come on however it was there now it's like it's still heavy and even though I've been doing vegan and doing my serapeptis which is helping push all of that out and um I did see a couple sis come out in the toilet a couple times that I did go to the bathroom throughout this week and maybe because um of the serapeptis is helping push all that out because again you're not really supposed to take it when you're on your period so just listen to your body me I'm doing this on my own because I already tried it before without being on it and it ended up giving me yeast infection because my body wasn't flushing everything out the way it needed to be and everything just smelled weird and was just off like everything was just more off than with it already but so this time around my skin doesn't smell weird and all of that is actually helping break down the tissues and push all that out but I'm just ready for this period to be done, y'all. Like, I'm over it. Like, Saturday to Saturday, why are you still here, like, at this point? But, again, I've always struggled with my periods. I've had a period ever since I was 11 years old. My period came on the day before the sixth grade. So, my birthday's in July, so I'm younger than everybody. So, everybody turns 12, I'm 11 that whole year. So, yeah, and... Even then, my periods would last anywhere from 9 to 14 days. And every other girls, theirs only be from 3 to 7 days. And, like, I always just thought something was wrong with me. I used to cry about my period all the time. So, I'm at a point where I just be like, whatever, just let me have my energy, please. Like, he's going to be here. Like, and don't tear up my clothes. That's all I have <laughs> at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and scramble up the egg. I like to blend it up with the seasoning, and then I'm going to chop everything up, add it in there, heat up some butter, and then um, once the skillet is coated really good with the butter, then I pour my eggs over into there, pop my um, bagels in the oven, and then so everything's cooking at the same time. And, yeah. We're just going to have a little egg sandwich. Because like I said, I don't want to do actual meat, but I am doing shrimp, fish, eggs at this point. As long as I'm not putting a lot of things in my body that's creating a lot of mucus, I feel like it's fine. And then as long as I'm still taking the slippery elm, I think I should still be fine as well. Which I need to go get some more of that today because as you see, I am running out and I have to go all the way to East Lansing just to restock back up on this. So <clears throat> that's my mission for today. Car shopping probably. Go to the herb store, get some more herbs and supplements because I need to get some raspberry leaf supplements as well because I heard that was good for tubal blockage and getting um water and tissue and stuff from out of your tubes. So We'll see how that goes and check back in for dinner and I'll show you guys my plate and everything once I have everything done. All right, ciao.
Okay, y'all, so it's about 8 o'clock. We did some errands. We got some more of that slippery elm since I've been using that lately. And I found some raspberry leaf, some macaroon because I had the powder. So I'm going to try to supplement instead because the powder. It's kind of hard taking that and remembering to take it and all that. So this should be probably easier to remember. Got me some black molasses. I'm doing my video. <laughs> and um, I grabbed me some tea. This is the peach oolalong tea. And then I got me one, the um, golden turmeric pineapple herbal tea. And I think this is the one I'm going to drink when I take my supplements. I'm also going to do a tablespoon of molasses and take some um, slippery um, tonight and some tea or some different tea. Because this is cold and I want it to melt down, so... By 12 o'clock, I should be making some more tea like this and figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. I'll probably record some of that to so show y'all and see how this goes. And then that way, tomorrow when I start my workout and stuff, my supplements and all that's already in my body and I can just add this in with the Serapeptis that I've been taking in the morning anyways, which I forgot to take for the last... Well, today, yesterday, I didn't take it, but on my other days, I took it. So, um, I never had this before. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, so I had to shake it up and open it, you guys. So, I'll go ahead and taste it real quick. Um, it's not the best. It doesn't taste sweet or anything like that. It tastes like pineapple. You can taste the turmeric in it. It just tastes like it's herbally for real. I'm gonna just put it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and drink it just because it's got turmeric in it. My throat hurt. My allergies are flaring up. <clears throat> but I mean, if you're a person that likes your tea sweet and stuff, you're not gonna like this. I'm gonna put it like that. But I can feel it starting to make my throat feel a little better. That's crazy. But yeah, it's like. If you was to get like a pineapple flavored water or something, it's like, you know, not really strong in the taste. Super herbally. That's for sure. I got this at Whole Foods. It was like a little under two dollars. And that one. And both of these supplements were like about ten, eleven dollars. And I got that from a different health food store. But I'm pretty sure both of them carry. Or any health food store you know to carry all of these products. So, with the slippery elm, it just depends on if they sell bulk or not. And they might have capsules of that. So, I don't know. But that's how the mix is going. Okay, so this is what the molasses looks like. This is my first time ever had trying this as well, you guys. In the raspberry supplement. But, I, like I said, I took the maca root before, but I took it in the powder form that pill. And when you pour this, pour it with caution because it does come out kind of fast, even though it's really thick. I'm just going to take a mouthful of this. Woo! Woo! 
That's all I'm gonna say. I definitely need something to drink, Lord Jesus. Oh. Oh my God. I feel like I'm just turned into a diabetic. <laughs> Hey, it's part of the journey. This bland ass tea shit. Wash it right on down. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is take uh, raspberry juice capsule. These are veggie capsules, by the way. Whoa, I never had a veggie capsule before, but it actually tastes like freaking vegetables. I didn't think that it was going to taste like that. <laughs> that is crazy. I swear, this journey, boy. I'm going to get the hang of it, though. This is just a macaroon. And that way, tomorrow, I'll take my serapeptis at 9 o'clock in the morning. Then at 1, when I eat, I can go ahead and do my other supplements. And my first tea. And all of that with the slippery elm and blue. That wasn't too shabby. So, I'll say in about a week I'll be able to, or three days, I should be able to give y'all some insight on how all of this stuff is working and going. Because, like I said, with the slippery um, like, I didn't think I was going to be able to review it that fast, but. It's like every day, it's like something new with this, so. So far, so good. So hopefully this is so far, so good. And again, like, all of this stuff is very inexpensive. Like, you can get this in bulk or in pill form. I'm pretty sure, like, these are $10 at the um store. No more than, like, $15. Cause I know on Amazon and stuff, sometimes this stuff retails for more or sometimes you get it for less. This, you can, however much it is, by the whatever however much you think you need for however much you're going to be using it for or how long and I think this is like six seven dollars so not not too bad <laughs>